The coronavirus continues to spread globally, including in Italy, where confirmed cases have skyrocketed. That has local residents concerned. We visited workers of a Robbinsdale restaurant who have family members in Italy. My parents are back in Italy at home, so my dad's Italian, my mom's American. She studied abroad in Italy and never came back. One of those stories. Nico Bunani came to the U.S. eight years ago and now works at Nona Rosa's Italian restaurant in Robbinsdale. I am from northern Italy in a town called Vignale Monferrato. It's northwest of Italy. Although the coronavirus hit the northeast part of Italy, including Milan and Venice, Bonani says his hometown southwest of there was still affected by closed schools and businesses. The large carnival in Venice was also canceled due to the virus. So like as Tina said, it's like canceling the Super Bowl in Italy. So far, the death toll in Italy is at seven, and there's about 230 confirmed cases making it the worst hit country in Europe. If the numbers go way up next week, I'll be really concerned for my parents and being like, hey, what are we going to, you guys want to come over here? Are they going to let you go? But it's still really early in the stages. Bonani says family members in Italy are taking precautions, but they aren't feeling widespread panic. My mother is actually pretty, she's not too nervous about it yet. Um, she said, yep, I went this morning to the village to get to go to get groceries, normal thing. Nobody's wearing masks. We don't want people to panic. Tina Sulia, co-owner of Nona Rosa, says she's concerned the virus will spread to the south where her family is from. But if it continues to travel through the central part of Italy and eventually to the south of Italy, now you're kind of um, crossing economic lines where there may not be uh, as capable of fending it off. While Sulia and others continue to monitor the situation, Sulia says she's grateful for the community at Nona Rosa's. And, and you know, we're just kind of there for each other and offering some support while we're plating up pastas and, you know, pouring glasses of wine. So the Minnesota Department of Health says to protect yourself from coronavirus, take the same precautions as you would for avoiding colds and the flu. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.